Hey guys, welcome to another video and today on Her Coffee Diaries, we're going grocery shopping. Yes, you heard me right. I am going to take you grocery shopping because I need food for meal prep and all that stuff. So why not just take you with me and show you basically how I do my groceries and how I try to make it more sustainable, how I try to buy things with less waste and on top of that being on a grad student budget because let's admit it, being a grad student, you don't have a lot of money to spend. Okay, so first off, when trying to do grocery shopping more sustainably, we have to prepare a few things. Number one would be a grocery list. Look at your fridge and see what you need. And I actually have my grocery list on my phone right now. And there's not a lot that I have to buy this time around because I already bought a lot of stuff beforehand and I still have some in my fridge. So I'm just going to, you know, get a few things that I really need for meal prepping this week. Once you have your list, the second thing is to prep your bags. Now, we want to avoid as much waste as possible. So I prepare this, this is a grocery bag basically. So if you're a student in general, you know that there are free events on campus and people actually give away things. And I actually got this when I was at an event and yeah, it's been one of my grocery bags since then. Okay, so the first thing that I have is another grocery bag, which is this guy over here. It's pretty big, but it folds up really small. And I actually have had this bag for so many years. This is when I was in Taiwan. And it's what? It's been like five years or six years since I've had this bag, I think. Because I got this when I just arrived in Taiwan and I stayed there for like four years so it's probably around six years now um, and then I also have produce bag because I have to pick up a lot of produce um, at the moment because I really want to make a chipotle bowl for next week for the meal prep so there's a lot of produce that I'll be picking up so I have this lastly I normally do this when I know I'm getting a lot of produce because you know if I run out of produce bag I don't know what I'll carry my vegetables with so instead of actually getting plastic produce bag from the grocery store I usually bring a couple of plastic bags that I already had in the house but I didn't really you know want to throw it away so I usually bring two or three plastic bags with me just in case I run out of produce bag all right, so that's all the things that I usually bring when I go grocery shopping. Um, I don't go to a fancy supermarket, like I said, grad student budget. I usually go to Aldi or I usually go to Walmart. So because in my town, Aldi and Walmart are like side by side. So if I don't find um, the item that I want in Aldi, I usually drive by to Walmart. I also buy a few things in bulk like quinoa and beans. For that, I will be going to a more local and more um, organic supermarket, but it's usually for bulk things that I know I can't get without plastic. So yeah, let's go. So we're back from the grocery store. Um, sorry if it's a little bit dark. It's already like 4 p.m. and it's getting darker and I don't have extra lighting. So please 
just have patience with me um yeah so i in total went to three different places i know it's a hassle but i like to look at my options and i already am familiar with these three places that i already know what to get and let's start the haul first thing i got were tomatoes and they were unpackaged so that was good i could use my produce bag second was avocados i really want to make guacamole and yeah i got these three avocados they too were unpackaged so that's super good and they were actually 49 cents so who said millennials were wasting their time and money on avocado like it's 49 cents okay next up i got some bananas no bananas you don't actually have to put in a produce bag so i just got it as they were and these are super good because i eat oatmeal every morning i usually put strawberries in my oatmeal but it's not strawberry season anymore so yeah i got bananas for my oatmeal and to freeze it for my smoothies i got some pasta now i don't know why pasta always has this plastic filter on it i usually take the plastic filter off when i have gone through the whole box and then i can put the cardboard in recycling next up is milk now i usually buy the regular milk the one that comes in plastic jars but i've switched it up um recently because i think that if i need to make a choice between drinking milk from the plastic container or from the cardboard container i think i would choose cardboard so that's why i'm switching i've been switching to almond milk recently and i didn't have any problem with that i just go through it really fast so i bought two okay so next up is garlic garlic i actually bought in walmart because in aldi they actually wrap it up in those like little nets and that too can't be recycled so yeah i got some garlic next up i got some green peppers and also some cilantro i just combined it into one produce bag and separate them when i wanted to pay because i didn't have enough produce bag like i said and i ended up using the plastic bag that i took with me but yeah i combined these two just to save space so i went to the bulk store that was downtown in my um, city and the reason why i did that because i told you i wanted to make a chipotle bowl and i needed beans and most of the beans that i found were packaged in plastic which i kind of already knew so i went there and i got some bulk bean and i usually transfer these into my mason jars afterwards so yeah this is definitely zero waste next is poultry so i bought some chicken breast um this was the harder change for me because i usually buy chicken breast um in aldi or walmart but they do come packaged in plastic film and in styrofoam and unfortunately that's not recyclable so i made the decision to change it up and i went to the bulk store and they actually um sell meat and seafood and they actually package it in paper so that was a good switch i'm not um, vegan i'm not vegetarian so i do still eat meat but i am also very conscious about the packaging and stuff like that okay so by now you probably are asking bethany how much do you spend for all of that um total it was around 25 dollars like i said i didn't really have a lot to buy i did make a bigger purchase like a week ago where i had to buy onion lemon um oranges and stuff like that the things that i use on a daily basis so um i didn't really need to pick up a lot and aldi i spent like eight dollars um in walmart i spent six dollars and then at the bulk shop i spent 11 dollars all in all i'm pretty happy and thank you so much guys for following me and for watching this video thank you for watching the videos in my channel i really appreciate it and if there's anything that you want me to discuss in particular please leave a comment down below and please leave a comment down below on other tips about grocery shopping and how to make it even more sustainable all right, I'll see you guys next time and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Bye!